Hey everybody, it's Tyrolin, and it's a new Let's Play time, so let's just kick into it right away. That's right, we're playing Ultima 6, The False Prophet. But, not the cool PC version. Of course not, why would we do that? We're going to play the Super Nintendo version. Uh, as we make our avatar name... Oh my god, it's so slow. Uh, <laughs> see if we can fit it. I don't think we can fit the whole name in here. Uh, let's spell it right. Oh my god, I shouldn't be starting this now. It's late at night and I'm tired. Um, can I get an N? Yes, we can fit Tyrolin entirely in there. Ha ha! Uh, we will pick fast. So, this is the, uh, I'll get into some stuff in a bit here, but this is the epilogue. Upon your world, several re seasons, reasons have passed since your triumphant departure from Britannia. No dark presence, no wars. Life in your world is peaceful and quiet. This tranquility is something which should content you, but has never given you the true comfort. Your longing to return to Britannia is so strong that it has led you to move to this house. This house, which stands so near to the circle of stones that you can see the circle from your window. Here you wait for the way to Britannia to open, but the gate has not reappeared. Shocker. One day, dark clouds cover the sky and cold winds begin to blow. Feeling that perhaps this is a sign, you decide to visit the Circle of Stones. Streaks of lightning tear the veil. Why would you go visit with lightning going around? Tear the veil of darkness from the sky, causing your shadow to flicker upon the ground. Startled, you look up as a huge bolt of lightning rushes towards the very place you're standing. It is Its target is the center of the stones. Oh, shocking. And the column of energy strikes its mark. Oh, that high note really hurts. It sears through the air and scorches the surrounding brown grass. Okay. Before you realize what is happening, the thunderbolt disappears. Looking down, you see a strange ki stone. Curious, you pick it up. Suddenly, a red moon gate rose before you. Yes, this is a sign for Britannia. Apparently, I sound evil. Your heart begins to pound. But wait. Your joy gives way to apprehension. I think this is the only time you speak. The gate to Britannia has always been blue, hasn't it? Your mind begins to ponder the possibilities. Suddenly, the moon gate starts to sink back into the earth. Your choices become obvious. You must step into the gate. A twisting feeling overcomes you, and you faint. You hear a noise like a beast screaming in the distance. Opening your eyes, you see a creature like you've never seen before. You try to escape. Whoa, I all of a sudden appear on there. But you are tied to an icy cold slab of stone. Gradually, you notice you are surrounded by several of these odd creatures. One of the creatures begins to chant in a stilted tongue. The chant turns into shouts when the screams of the feverish crowd resonate with the leader's chant. He lifts up a malevolent-looking dagger. His eyes are filled with burning hatred. There is no way out. You close your eyes, fearing the worst. Surprised, you find that you are still alive. Opening your eyes, you behold a wondrous sight. It is your old friend, Shamino. Art thou all right, Tyrolin? Shamino, you exclaim. Iolo, or Yolo, or whatever. And Dupre, you're here, too, he exclaims. Your dear old comrades, with whom you have shared many adventures, have come to re your rescue. Let's go, Tyrolin. Run to the gate, quickly. Shamino swiftly draws his sword and cuts the ropes that bind you. Yolo snatches an old book from the ground near the stone slab and jumps through the moon gate. You scramble to your feet and jump into the moon gate after your old friend at Yolo. Shamino and Dupree jump in behind you. Unnoticed, some gargoyles manage to follow you through the gate, and the fight begins. So this is Ultima 6 on SNES. Iolo attacks with a... Eh, I'm not going to read all that. So these are when you're in battle. You can cast spells, you can attack, you can go to your inventory, you can move. Uh, we're going to move up one so we can actually fight these things, because we are wielding a sword. Ouch! 16 damage, you jerks. Uh... And you may be wondering why the other people up on the top aren't fighting with us. Yeah, so am I. Of course I failed. I do not believe you can fail this first fight, but if you can, that would be lame. Ow. 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 Come on, die! Apparently I can hit that one on the left. I'm just clicking through it. If you really want to see it, you can slow down the video or something, but... There's no point. We're doing damage and we're killing these guys. You can also hit auto, which will automatically think to hit the best one, I guess. Ooh, one goes down. Shamino. 
Chamino is getting his ass kicked. Can we please kill these guys? There we go. Okay. Wow. They are hitting us hard. Look, I'm down to 24 health here. Come on. Die. I'm only doing two damage. I suck. Okay. So whoever kills it last gets the experience, which is really, really shitty. This is Ultima 6 on SNES. Aren't you lucky? Um, okay. First off, before we even start talking to people and starting this quest, Ultima series, amazing series. Never knew about it before. Um, I saw it on the Super Nintendo. Oh, where are you guys going? Guys! They're going to go eat, I think. Well, they're going to try to. They're really dumb. They don't know how to get to places. So, actually, before we go too far into this, I'm going to talk to Lord British here. The King of Britannia, Lord British. Tis good to see thee again. Much has hath happened since thou last departed our realm. Here's the key to my castle. Use the key to leave the castle. Uh, in the PC version, you had to answer some questions for the copyright protection. Then he gave you the key. Apparently, they felt it necessary to keep it in the game. Now, let me tell thee what has t transpired since thy last visit. I came back to this castle thanks to your rescue. Yeah, he was underground last time. This was a big earthquake, and, underworld, and the underworld collapsed. All was quiet for a time. But I fear we can no longer live in peace. Britannia is under attack by gargoyles such as those you just fought. They are clever creatures with fierce appearance. They have been coming up through the dungeons. Thus far, they have committed most of their attacks on the shrines of the Eight Virtues. When the Shrine of Compassion did fall, Sir Geoffrey sent a party to free it. Does thou ask him... Uh, no, I didn't. We must recover the shrines by using the eight runes. Thus far, fighting against gargoyles has proven fruitless. I hope that thee can save us once more. Whilst thou art here, I have a room in the castle set aside for thy personal use. Tis in the west wing of the castle, just south of my own chambers. There is some equipment in case thou should have needs of it. Of course, thou mayst feel free to borrow anything in my castle, if thou shouldst be in need. Blech. Lastly, any time thou dost need healing, or to repeat all this later, thou but need ask me. Okay, so, in the original PC version, you'd actually have to type these out, but you couldn't type in the Super Nintendo. So they gave you options, which will open up new stuff as you go along. And Lord British is basically our healer. Uh, okay, so story behind this. Well, Chuckles, get off the throne. Uh, Ultima 1 through 5, or all the Ultima series was on the PC, but when it came to the 6th installment, they're like, well, it'd be stupid not to get money from the SNES, and it's just sprites, so let's throw it over. Problem is, you lost a lot of the story, you lost a lot of the items, you lost a lot of the abilities of things, because it was on a kid-friendly SNES. So there's no beer, there's, there's no wine, you know, you can't have sex. And you're probably asking yourself, well, then why, Tyrol, and why are you playing this game? Because this is the first Ultima game I ever played. I got it for a Christmas one year, and I was devastated. I'm not even kidding you. I was the biggest jerk to my father. I literally threw a fit. And he, you know, feeling bad, went and bought me another game. But we kept this game, because my dad wanted to play it, I think. And, of course, I ended up playing it later on. And I ended up absolutely loving it. And that's the only time I played through it, the only time I completed it. So, yeah, I was a dick. Let's talk to Sir Jeffrey here, who's stuck in the corner. Uh, the pathing in this game is much worse than the one on the PC. A tall, handsome man. I'm glad to see thee, Tyrolin. I sent a party of ten to recapture the Shrine of Compassion from the Gargoyles. Alas, they failed dismally. The survivors are recuperating in the town of Cove. Thou wouldst do well to speak with them first. Mayhaps they learn something which might aid thee. I must confess, I fear the worst. Good luck, and my thoughts are with thee. Uh, I'm Jeffrey. I'm the captain of the Lord Bridge's Guard. Shrine of Compassion is east of this town. The village of Coast is f Cove is further east than the shrine. So, yeah, we're not going to be doing the shrine right away. Those gargoyles will kick our butt. I don't want to talk to this guy, but we have to. A carefree fellow in a ludicrous costume. He is prancing. I'm Chuckles! To prance, to tomfool! There are few people to tomfool than I tomfool alone. I am in a slump, aren't I? Call him Mr. Nose, but don't tell him I said so. See it open up that new one. Shh! Don't let him know I told you. 
Chuggles has a bigger role in the PC version. Come talk to me again and I'll give you another show. Which is good because he sucks. Absolutely sucks. He's in a lot of the games too. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to the court wizard here. Uh, just a warning for those who don't like heavy text-heavy games. This is going to be a text-heavy game. Just a warning and straight up. The mage has a concerned face. Hail to thee, and well met. I am Nistal. Twas I who learned of thy peril through my mystic arts. YOLO, I saw that thou didst find a book. Might I examine it? Certainly, my lord. Perhaps thou can make, canst make... Oh, I, he's older. Certainly, my lord. Perhaps thou canst make better sense of it than I, says I, YOLO. The book has a picture on its cover of a gargoyle. The gargoyle is standing with one foot on the chest of a fallen human. It's written in a strange language. It's written in a strange language. I know not. Yeah, we got that from the narrative. Take it to Mariah in the, at the Lyceum. She has studied many languages, and perhaps she can decipher this book for thee. I noticed that thou didst arrive at the gargoyle world through a red gateway. How dost thou open that gate? Perhaps by the stone. You show. Oh, he actually does talk more in this one. You show the moon orb to Nestle. The moon orb looks a lot like a moonstone. Best ask Lord British about it. I believe he has a stone just like this one. Name? My name is Nistel. Job? Why, I'm a servant to Lord British, not a servant. If you can free this shrine, you can meditate. To meditate, go and talk to the dais at the center of the shrine. Go ahead. Uh, basically, that's how you level up in this game. Let's go ahead and talk to you. Woman wearing a leather glove on her left hand. Welcome. My name is Kitten, she smiles. Perhaps that explains why I like birds. What a good king he is. I am eating right now. Come see me at the museum sometime and we can chat. Why are you eating in the castle? It is a library. I used to be a falconer. That was before Lord British appointed me to my current position. And that's all she really says, I think. Let's talk to Lord British. Not inventory. Look at how long it takes to get the inventory up. Ugh, that's the only thing that drives me nuts about this game. The King of Britannia, Lord British. Good afternoon, Tyrell, and what wouldst thou speak of? When you need healing, or, of, or for me to repeat this, thou need but ask. Gargoyles! All of our efforts thus far have failed us not. Uh, uh, availed us not, but now the gargoyles may have captured them all. Stay strong in thy commitment in the eight virtues. In the previous games, if you guys don't know Ultima, in the previous games, you became the Avatar by creating... Basically, Lord British makes this fake religion called the, uh the eight virtues and sets up all these shrines everywhere and you become the avatar of him committing to all these virtues. He's the captain of the guard. Of course, the better part about the SNES version is they don't talk as much. Each was sent to a town near a shrine. Ask the leaders of each town to tell thee more. Does do thou ask Tholden? He is in the southern part of the castle. Oh, I just had him heal me again. I am Lord British Thanks to thee, I sit once more upon the throne of Britain, Britannia. Though tis a heavy burden in such troubled times as these. Show Lord British the moon orb. Hmm, I have such a stone, as thou may recall. The stone is similar to the moonstone. Moon orbs opens a red gate. Each moonstone is dedicated to a shrine. Burying moonstones will cause the moon gates to open. Moon gates take you various places. Red gate. Red gates will open when you use a moon orb. They are similar to moon gates, but they take you other places. Okay. I like books. I collect rare books. There is one in particular I may have been seeking for many years. Tis called the Wizard of Oz. Ha ha ha. Well, if thou dost run across it in thy travels, I would greatly appreciate if you could bring it to me. Yes, thou art caring too much for me to reward thee properly. Bring the book back later when thou art less burdened. I have the book. Who told thee of that nickname? I would rather thou didst not call me that. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to hit repeat. I just don't want to accidentally hit it again. Uh, troubled. The gargoyles are th indeed the greatest threat our realm has ever known. We are fortunate indeed that fate hath brought thee here in our hour of need. Moon gates are blue. The place where moon gates take you is determined by the location of two moons. And Oz. My favorite story is Oz. I have known it by heart since I first heard it as a child. Uh, Lord British isn't from Britannia. He's some human from... Uh, I'm carrying too much? What am I... 
Oh, I can't use it. Um, I can't use this bag. How do I? Oh no, that's the order of people. No, um. Uh, no, I thought... Can you not use bags in this game? I know you can in the other version of the game. Can I just... No. I don't want to give... Move what? To where? Yeah, I can move it around. Are bags useless in this game? Can I not put stuff in them? Well, can I... Okay, let's try this. Okay, well, anyway, we gotta put on our onk. Which really, I don't know if it does anything. And then we're ready to spell book so we can actually cast things. Uh, you have everything. Now, Dupre. Oh, uh, let's go through this. We're all level 3, unlike the PC version, which I think starts everybody else at 4. Um, I have the first key, key B, the moon orb, and the bag. I don't have much. Uh, he has juice, which would have been wine. Food you need... Um, let's go ahead and move this food into the bag. Okay, then how do I... Um, get in a bag in this game? I'm gonna have to look that up, folks, because now I put my food in there. Um, well, for now... Let's go ahead and give the food to him. And that's oil. We don't want to give that to him. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Put everything in the bag. And so we got that. That's good. Uh, Shamino is a ranger, so he's in chainmail. And uh, uh, Yolo is a bard. He has the prophecies book he stole. He's got his own loot, some torches, a sling. He's got about 135 crossbows. I don't know how to use these bags. Do you drop them? Let me try that. I don't want to drop it here. Uh, you know what? We're going to save state. Get out of the way, Jeffries. Let's go ahead and drop. See what happens. Oh, you can't drop it! Well, that's great. Can't drop that either. Well, then how in the nine hells are you supposed to use this? Ah, 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 you hit X, or whatever this button is I have assigned. So I can go in the bag like this. Okay, um, I gotta learn how to get, okay, it's this button. Okay, 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 okay. So I can put shit in the bags. Uh, wow, it's been almost 20 minutes of me just screwing around here. Um, this is the room he gave us. Now... To look at things, yes, you want to get all this stuff. Yes, please, all of this. Um, can't I take the bag? No, it doesn't look like I can. I'm going to have to look up the controls for this, because obviously I'm playing emulated. I have it on SNES. Again, like always, I don't have a capture card. Um... Let's get the torch, the red potion, sulfur ash, fire silk, nightshade, mandrake, ginseng, garlic, blood moss, black pearl, leather boots, chain coif. Well, that's better than what he is wearing. He's not wearing anything on his head. So let's go ahead and ready the chain coif. And he doesn't have any boots. So let's go ahead and ready those boots. Uh, Dupree has stuff. I wish there was a quicker way to... Oh, there we go. I can switch through without having to do that. Okay, so... The Avatar has a bag. So let's go ahead and move his... These items here, the garlic, the sulfur ash, and I'm sorry, for those who have played Ultima and know what this stuff is, I know I'm going to be explaining a lot, but uh, these are reagents. These are how you cast your spells. Um, I'm not sure how you can tell what spells cast what and everything, but that's really it. Um... Unfortunately, this game doesn't have as much moving stuff like you have this here. I think this is supposed to be a fireplace. And this is your bed. 
But uh, I'm out of time for this video. So uh, everybody, thanks for watching the first episode of Ultima 6. There's probably going to be a ton of these if I decide to continue on or fail like I did with the Let's Play on Hell Yeah. I don't know if I'm picking that back up again or not. But uh, we'll see you in the next one. This is Ty Rollins signing off. Bye-bye.